Hi guys, I want to present to you this genuine and rare article, in my opinion. It's a small caliber revolver, which is made in Ukraine. I have already unscrewed this hex. Let me just remove this. And it is written here, Vyroblena v Ukraini, which is translated into English as Made in Ukraine. This is a Flaubert revolver that is made in Ukraine. And it is very unique, I think. Gun. Which is completely made of steel. Except for the wooden grips, which has some very unique features which is strangely that a hand grip covers the inscription that it is made in Ukraine that is very strange all right guys you have this uh, strange contraption here inside but you will shortly understand when I explain what it does. When you turn it over, there is a button. When you press it, it extracts a rod for extraction of the cases, empty cases. This gun is designed for the 4mm Flaubert cartridges which look like this very small cartridges which I will for you measure unfortunately for the outside the European it's 456 these are made by Salier and Below in Czech Republic. This gun is designed for these cartridges. It is loaded in this way. You open this ledge and you load each cartridge individually. Rotate the cylinder. another cartridge when you have fired the case should be extracted but this rod should be for the extraction of the empty cases you see that the cylinder is made with the um, kind of um, it is relieved so it looks like a hex except for the this groove that is by the Ukrainian law I'm not sure about the exact uh, mm, things as to this by the law but this makes the chamber very thin like about 0 0.7 millimeters so if you upload this gun with the um, extra powder it may blow off so it it actually not possible what is interesting about this gun that is completely made of steel a high grade steel like 40 45 steel i'm not exactly sure what the equivalent about the steel in the english speaking countries but the quality of this gun is just outstanding everything inside this gun is also made of steel there is no anything that is made of alloy or anything it's just plain hardened high quality rugged steel 
What is also interesting, if you want to uh, disassemble this for cleaning, this uh, key, um, hex key, is uh, supplied with this gun. You have to insert it in here. And since the cylinder is rotating clockwise, you have to unscrew it counterclockwise. You insert this uh, rod that is holding the cylinder on the spring just got away from me I have to find it out luckily it is close close in here and you see that this gun is made of high quality steel and this is very interesting that the indexing uh, feature I'm not sure if you've seen this indexing feature is this um, ball that is spring loaded and it is corresponding with this mortises here in the cylinder or hexagender I'm not sure how you call it a very interesting gun I have unscrewed this gun. Uh, you have to first unscrew these uh, cheeks. And it comes apart from here. But the I'm telling you that the metal to metal finish is excellent. The only complaint I have had about it is the trigger. These edges were very sharp. I had to take my file and some sanding paper and to put this straight. This is called Tovaristo Sem 4mm. This is legal in my country. The bore is a uh, smooth bore, which makes sense because it doesn't matter if a ball is being fired through a rifle or a smooth bore cylinder, which is legal in my country. about the sharp edges but the only thing I did I actually I have rounded out the edges of this trigger also I don't understand why they put the serrations at the back of the mm, hmm. I'm not sure why they did put the serrations at the back of the cocking lever I'm not sure but I love this thing the extractor oops I'm sorry guys very nice revolver to my opinion also about the complaints I have told you about the sharp edges about the wooden grips they were made of uh, this are the original wooden grips and they were not actually fitting the uh, the handle I had to take my file and sanding paper and refinish them so maybe you're not seeing the original thing as to that I love the inscription Made in Ukraine. Zroblen of Ukraini. Tovaristo Sem. Fraternity or the company. CEM. I have no the slightest idea what that means. 4 millimeter. There's another inscription which is very vaguely seen. And it says RC10. There's a serial number which in part corresponds with the cylinder serial number I hope you see this 
the only thing I did this is actually the forcing cone is I mean it's outrageous because of the Ukrainian law it shouldn't be more like seven and a half joules of energy with this um, which is a pretty much like a firearm which is legal in Ukraine and if you have as much as 7.5 joules it is legal I've checked in my chronograph and it clocked it just a little bit under 200 meters per second so if you're careful it is about the same as any Crossman revolver or any CO2 pistol okay guys thanks for watching I hope the next uh, video will be about me firing this gun uh, I have actually disassembled it and there's just a kind of clockwork which holds very little uh, parts and I think that this is very good because the fewer parts you have the less probability of the damage you have okay guys thanks for watching